shoot. Hi. <clears throat> I've got a very, very phlegmy throat. Start again. Shoot. Hi. I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now this is part two of two. Depending on which order you watch them in, I suppose this is part one. Or part, again, anyway, so. Uh, we are here today to look at the Helicantex Pilgrim Pants. Now the reason that I've said that this is part two of two or part one of two is because there is also some content on the Pilgrim Anorak which I'm wearing. You may have already watched that which is going to make you watch this but if you're watching this first then there is also this. Yes, so without waffling I want to start off just by saying Thank you to Military First. Military First are the UK's largest outdoor and military suppliers. Uh, they're an awesome online company, just a stone's throw from the Moorlands in Manchester. Um, and just great all round people, all of the conversation that I've had with them. They like the banter, which is a northern thing, we like the banter. Um, but they supply all of the top worldwide manufacturers um, if you're wanting dedicated hardcore security uh, military kind of equipment you can get them from there or if you're just an outdoors enthusiast and adventurist kind of like myself uh, then you can pick anything up there as well so I definitely want to thank them for sending this these my way I certainly look forward to future projects with you guys and highly recommend checking them out they're a good bunch of people um, certainly selling things especially in today's market at the correct and reasonable price um, which again is a, is a is another good quality to have uh, but yes definitely want to thank them at this point what I'll do is I'll get the camera moved around so that we can take a closer look at the uh, the pilgrim pants but whilst I'm doing that if you do choose at any point to hit that like subscribe or share button um, I certainly want to say thank you it's the polite thing for me to do at this point is definitely to say thank you it certainly means a lot to me and my channel um, and yeah welcome welcome to the Moorlander EDC community um, but yes for now let's take a closer look at the pilgrim pants uh, now before we do so we'll, we'll have a look at materials and we'll have a look at the features of the of the pants in a second But it's always useful to start off with some metrics. These pants are the large um, I'm five foot ten of 36 inch waist generally I go for a large size um, if the, if it's like a small medium large but whatever the the waist is if it's a 36 and that's a large then yeah that's generally what I'll go for it's something that I've echoed a lot about Helicon Tech's products somebody somewhere is really looking at what modern day men's sizes are for me I, Outside of Helicon Tex, when I, when I get things, I, I, I go for a large. Sometimes I'm 34, sometimes I'm 36, my leg. Um, I missed it in between. Uh, sometimes I'm a 30 inch leg, sometimes I'm a 32 inch leg. But I found with these, so these are the regular large, which is I think is a 36 inch waist. These are spot on um, for me. That's what, that's what I really like about Helicon Tech's products, is that they just seem to fit me perfectly. There have been a few items that do seem a little bit too big, um, but generally, yeah, you know, as, as a rule of thumb, I'd always say check their website, check the measurements up on, on there to find out what you're thinking about. And then, uh, yeah, I've always found that they've been very close to what, uh, exactly what they should be. To give you some information on materials and some of the other craftsmanship on here, um, this is all made from Dura Canvas, which is a, a, a good mix of cotton and polyester. That means that really you're getting both of um, the best qualities from each. Um, it's nice and tough. Also, there are some um, certainly qualities in there if you're around campfires and you're getting embers on there you can just brush them off you're certainly not going to have to worry about them burning the material um, th it does also mean that they're a little bit more color fast as well you don't have to worry about that fading as much uh, but also get some of the the nice qualities that you get from cotton um, it's nice and soft uh, it, it's, it's also really nice and breathable 
These are available in three different colors. I think there's black, this is the coyote color, and then there is also um, a, 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 a green color. I forget what it's called. I think it's called Taig or Taig. Um, similarly to the Woodsman Anorak, which I've, which I've reviewed in the past. Now what I thought with these hanging perfectly like this, we'd go through and we work away from the top down to the bottom, but with this little setup, it also means that I can, I can swing them around as well. So starting at the top, waistband wise, you have this really nice inch, uh, sorry, you have this really nice thick, I think it's one and a half inch waistband. All of the loops on here, especially here at the front, given that you might have things here that you just want to make sure you get extra uh, uh, load bearing as such. You have double loops on here. Going round to the side, you also have single loops. Then onto the back, you have three across the back and one importantly in the center to make sure you get as much support at the back as possible. What you'll hopefully also see here as well is that the material goes past and above where the waistband normally would be. I found with these it also it makes them really comfortable for that but when you're out and about if you're worried about things getting down the back of your pants it certainly helps to stop a lot of that from getting down. These two loops here which are kind of at the side towards the back and then also here at the front you also have additional uh, loops on here so that if you wanted to pass some paracord through these uh, so that you've got easy access to certain tools, then you can you can run those there. As far as the the waist fixture is concerned, find with a lot of Helicon Text pants rather than going with a button, they've gone with the hook and loop on here. I think given that they are using some of these really nice large buttons, I'd love to see a button on here instead, but. Uh, it's certainly something that I've got used to now, um, but I think the OCD side of me, when I put this back, if it's ever an angle, you know, it's some, something goes nuts in me. So I, I always have to make sure that it's perfect. I think after 30 years on this planet, when I go to the toilet, I know how to undo a button and a zip. It, it's just a, it just seems slightly strange that I have to be looking down to, to make sure that I, that I know what I'm doing there. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not difficult at the end of the day. It's, it's, just, it's just hook and loop. And then YKK zip in the front there as well. Now, on the inside, and I'm just going to show you this just to make sure, just make it clear. So that there's, there's no lining as such in these. Um, it's just it's just the Dura canvas on the inside and out. Also, little bits. Hopefully, you can see that I've got these suspended on these uh, extra little bits of paracord that you can see here at the top. Um, they appreciate that some people might not want to wear a waist belt, or they'd like additional support because you might have a lot in your pockets if you're foraging that sort of stuff. Uh, so you can get additional braces. I know a lot around the world they call them suspenders, but you can get additional ones for these so that you can take a little bit of weight in the pants across your shoulders. Now, as far as weight is concerned, the pants themselves, they're no heavier than any normal pair of trousers. In fact, they're probably lighter compared to something like denim. Um, they're... Well, I mean, I, I don't know, just a, a finger in the air, I, I, you know, I'd, I'd say they're probably two thirds of the weight um, of a normal pair of jeans. They're, they're, they're certainly nice and light for that. Here on the front, on both sides, I'll do it on this side so I don't have to reach across. But here, if I pull this round, you'll be able to see that you have this really nice large pocket. I use the term quite a bit, especially when I, when I talk about Helicon Text, but these are cavernous. If I pull this out, you can definitely fit a lot in here. So hopefully you can see when these are in here, they go right, right the way in and you can get a full hand in there. They come through into the groin just before where the zip is here and they go all the way round to the side where the side stitches. 
all of the sides of the pockets on both sides are reinforced with additional dual canvas to make sure that if you're putting things or, or you're using uh, pocket clips it will keep that area nice and secure. I like how this works, it's actually got a nice flow because this pocket skirts all the way around using the same material and you've also got this additional pocket that can be used for putting smaller things into, so maybe you've got uh, a lighter, maybe there's a knife um, or even a compass, you can drop that into here. Now this goes down about six inches, it's certainly not as deep as this larger front pocket. Um, but it's great as well for being able to store your wallet in. When I turn these round, because potentially these are a pair of pants that you're going to be sitting down in the woods on some a crappy old piece of wood somewhere that you found, there are no rear pockets in the traditional sense that you'd have maybe on a pair of jeans where you'd normally have a pair of pockets here there's no pockets on here to make sure and as well it also helps if you're you have a larger backpack on there that you don't have to reach behind because you, you might have something in your backpack that comes down past here so these can be used as additional pockets here at the side but it's more over the the, the outside the outside of your glutes here uh, so that you can have access to those. Now then moving down, you then have a double set. The pockets here on the side, as I mentioned, so there's actually two pockets in this one section, although it looks like there's one. So you have a zipper access here. YKK zippers on the inside, there is a mesh lining to this pocket, um, but the lining is purely just for this pocket. There's, there's no additional lining uh, going down through here. On the inside as well, just to help because these pockets are so large, there's also an additional pocket made from the Dura canvas in here as well, just in case again you wanted to put a knife. Um, I have been dropping my keys into there, so while I've been wearing this, these during the day nip into town, drop my keys into there, and then I know quite quickly where they are. So that's, th that's this main pocket with this zip. Now underneath here, Hopefully you'll be able to see here as well that there is an additional pocket. Now the way that these are constructed is the same as the way that the, the breast pockets um, on the anorak are constructed as well. So you have, the actual pocket goes all the way up past where the fold is. So you can drop stuff into here. On the inside there's, there's no additional organisation, it's just a nice big drop pocket. But when you close this, similarly to like a roll top, this seam here isn't actually the top of the pocket. Here is the top of the pocket. So when you close it, you're actually rolling over the top of the pocket, which allows, or at least it deters dirt and debris from getting into there. So again, if you have maybe, um, I don't know, maybe you've got like a, a GPS or something that you just want to keep away from the dirt a little bit more it just means that dirt has to kind of go through this little obstacle course to be able to get into there. Now the pockets are the same on both sides so you have the front you have this rear kind of pocket similar zip here and then the same pocket there as well. Now with the additional construction that comes into the rear and the seat on this rather than it being the typical fare where just the internal kind of underneath your buttocks and into the gooch area is, is reinforced. They've actually just reinforced this whole back panel. So coming down from the waist here, following this stitching from the pocket, underneath the glutes round into, uh, into the inside seam, this whole back panel that comes across here and then down underneath, this is a double layer of Jura canvas on there to make sure that if you're sitting down, as this is, an, this is a hard wear area, this whole area here is covered. Then inside in the groin area here, sorry, not, not the groin, but actually underneath, uh, it's the same here as well with an additional panel sewn into this to make sure that there's that additional spread that you can get whilst, whilst being able to squat down. 
And they've also been able to follow and, and use that dual layer of Dura canvas into the knee as well. So I've rolled the ankle up here so that you can see on the inside of the knee there is a pocket here so that you can add uh, some uh, protection into there. Now these aren't the really big, thick, dense ones. These are more of a minimal insert to make sure that there's just a little bit more protection on your patella when you're kneeling down and certainly the ligaments above and, above and below that. Other than that though, when they are, they're not filled with um, with a with a with a thin protector in there, the double layer of Dura canvas does a very good job of giving that extra protection. On the back, because we got the seam at the top, the seam then flows down below just where the calf is, just to make sure that this area, as far as being able to pinch on the back of your knee, certainly not found that there's any pinching there whatsoever. We then come down, right down to the bottom where we have then the ankles. Now the ankles on here have a folded over ankle um, with some bungee cord in there so that if you did want to pull these a little bit tighter around your boot, you can certainly do that and it will stop any additional debris from going in. I'd say if there's one thing that these might be missing, which I think it would certainly help is, is just, um, is just a stay on there. I think if they'd add that additional stay so that you could attach this to a lace or onto your boot, I know it's, it's, that's a kind of a military sort of thing to do, but again, to stop these from riding higher for stuff to then be able to get into your boot, I think if they'd have added that, it would have been good. Now, you can certainly do this. If you pull the bungee through, you can just lace this kind of through your lace. Um, but it would mean that it would you'd, you'd have to cinch that in a little bit more to be able to do that. I think if they'd have added that additionally in there extra, um, it, it, it certainly would have helped. What I've also found as well is that I have had to uh, cinch these in ever so slightly because as I've been walking around, there has been some wearing on this. Now this isn't walking around with um, with my shoes on this is generally just from walking around the house i wouldn't say it's an excessive amount of wear um but it, it, it's certainly something that i've noticed but you can certainly fix that just by cinching this in so that it, it's a little bit tighter around the ankle now as far as them being on is concerned i think as far as helicon Tech's trousers are concerned my favourites so far have been the Urban Tactical Pants. These are very close to those. The Urban Tactical Pants for me are probably the most comfortable that I've kind of come across. And although these are in second place, it is, it's a photo finish. These, yeah, these really do feel well. Uh, in the pant, we're in the seat area. Um, there's enough to make sure that I've got plenty of movement it certainly doesn't certainly doesn't restrict any movements in there everything just seems to work there's plenty of space having no pockets at the back it does feel strange but I think that's just the fact that they're a different style of pant being able to have access to these pockets here at the front these are huge and you can fit a lot into these and I think the way that this flows round so that you then get immediate access to this secondary pocket which is kind of where the back pocket should be but it's, it's closer onto your hip it's very well designed because you, you put your hand round and you can, you can, sorry, <laughs> wrong pocket. You put your hand round and you can immediately find that. Although obviously I, I just pulled the wrong pocket then, but you know, it, it's, it's there. The pockets here on the thighs, they're a little bit higher than your average sort of tactical pant. Again, I think that's good because you, you, you from a standing position, it's easier to be able to get into them. The one thing I have found and this is user error over the error of the pants, is that sometimes you'll have something in your pocket and because both of these pockets are layered over the top of each other, you'll put your hand into the pocket to try and get it before you then realise, no, actually, sorry, it's in this pocket. Or vice versa, you'll go, oh, no, it's not that pocket. It's actually in this pocket. 
but also this pocket behind here this also kind of goes into there so whilst I've had my hand in here I can feel my lens cap but my lens cap isn't in either of these pockets it's actually in this pocket which is this that, that, that kind of rear pocket that goes around there again that's nothing to do with the pants themselves I think the pockets are designed exceptionally well it's just remembering which pockets or which uh, bits are in each one of the things I didn't mention in the pockets as well is that you have also additional um, additional loops in these as well so that if you have something that you, you know you, you pull out a lot you can make sure you can fasten that to something uh, and certainly have easier access to that the waistband on this that higher waist at the back really kind of fits perfectly into the into the into the nape of your back uh, and it helps really does help them to hold into position when you're squatting down there's there's just nothing that's going to get into the back of there because it it generally doesn't pull higher than your t-shirt on the waist as well I know I mentioned with the velcro on there but it's you know it's it's not it's not a massive chore for me it's just always looking down to do up my butt to do up the velcro whereas with a button that's muscle memory you just you just do it and it's done but as far as the fit and finish on these these are incredibly comfortable to wear for long walks for days out even just going into the studio I've been into the studio several times in these I certainly don't get looked at as though I've come in dressed in some sort of tactical pants if anything they just kind of look like khaki coloured pants with with your cargo pockets on the side and now I say this with the utmost respect and as a, and as a huge compliment um, nerds geeks we have something in common and that is that we understand the details that I think are looked over by non nerds and geeks that sounds really bad because I, I know that a lot of people do appreciate the details and they come across those finer details but I think for the nerds and geeks out there when they find those they definitely appreciate the fact that somebody is making these products understands why that feature why that whatever is there I think that's that, that I suppose that's the main point that I'm getting at with Helicon Techs, you can tell that they definitely have some really good staff there that are thinking about materials, they're thinking about the design, they're thinking about the features, they're thinking, where does this pocket need to be? The seat, I know we've historically always done one of these reinforced seats, but is there actually a better way that we can do this so that it... You can definitely tell there's a lot of thought put into Helicon Techs products. It's certainly why since 2020, I think it's 2020 that I first got my taste of Helicon Text. And I don't, I, I certainly don't want to come across as some sort of corporate shill. You know, I'm, I'm certainly not receiving funds from Helicon Text to say this, but the quality of the products, the quality of the craftsmanship and the design that they put into them certainly is, is next level. And also the fact that you're able to get this nerdery, this geekery, at a price that is still obtainable to the average person out there certainly no and again not to pick on some of the some of the higher prices but if you were to find a similar pair of pants from from a company like fuel raven or somebody like that you're probably going to spend seriously brain bugger off sorry about that but you're probably going to spend two to three times the amount for a similar product so anyway Again, I'm not, certainly not, I, I, I don't want you to think I'm heading, putting hate on other companies. Um, really, I suppose it's more about being able to find the value and the experience that you can get from a Helicom Text product over, over somebody else's. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave all of Helicom Text's links below. Definitely check them out. Have a look at the website so that you can find out more about their sizes. I'll also leave some of the links below from Military First. Um, huge thank you to them. I've, I've worked with them quite a bit in the past and I definitely look forward to future products. I'm sure I'll probably email them on Monday and we'll, we'll try and sort out whatever the next thing is that we'll, uh, that we'll, we'll have a look at. 
Um, they're a great company, brilliant British company. Um, they send all through the world. They even send in through uh, all through the world, even to Europe, like it's some sort of strange thing. But I know certainly in the over the last few years since Brexit, there have been issues with postage and import fees. Don't worry about that sort of stuff with Military First. They cover that to make sure you're getting the products that you need and the products at the right price. Um, especially in the last year or so, uh, the prices of products have gone up, um, but you'll find with Military First that they're, they're kind of towing the line as far as keeping everything reasonable to make sure that you're not paying over the odds for goods. But anyway, all of their links will be below. You really should check them out. Check them out on all of their um, uh, social medias as well. And for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC. Let's take a closer look at the Pilgrim Pants. Probably change the battery. It looks like the battery's getting a bit low.